Uh, it, it's great that she's here. She's a terrific writer, and she hosts a very popular podcast, just like this one, <laughs> uh, called Employee of the Month. She's here, Katie Lazarus. I'm happy she's here. Katie. You sit on the stool. Yeah, look at the like there, you away. Away. No, no. <laughs> there you go. Find the light. Find the light. Everybody's just making their own rules. You okay? <laughs> Katie, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. well. I'm you well. just came from a holiday party, is that yeah, correct? From my office party. So? Post an office, as I should have. Well, well, well you might don't have offices either. I'm you know, we have some. Oh, you do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have an office, I do. You, I, where's your office? I work at Come Flyer with me, which is the nation's <laughs> premier hander out of flyers up there <laughs> on the Broadway for the musicals and comedies. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, I do that uh, most most days. I'm, I'm luckily not out in the street as much as I once was. Uh, so more involved in paper stock selection than uh, <laughs> inks. A lot of versus soybean versus Matt. <laughs> yes, a lot of oh, luster is the new thing right luster. now. But so what's the scuttlebutt? What's the dish? Were there people making out in the copy room or what was going on? <laughs> well, it's all writers, so it's like not no one you want to see making out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've met writers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So nothing, nothing as scandalous happened at this party. Some peppermint schnapps was flowing. What was going on? What was the drink? It was at, it was in the fire fire museum, which is amazing. Where it's, is it? It's the fire museum. Where is it? It's in Tribeca, and <laughs> there were no fire. See, they should have brought firemen. That was yeah. Although this year, you know what they're having? They're having a um a te- you know how they have they have a fireman's calendar to raise money every year. I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you get yours in blossom now. <laughs> Luster. 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 So now they have a taxi cab one. Now they have cab drivers oh, posing. Okay. That's, that's very erotic. So <laughs> What's next? No Sanitation? <laughs> I think those people must have great pensions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They deserve it. No women in the caliber? I know, it's not shocking. It is a little bit. But I'm always shocked if I get a female cab driver. It's not, it's not often. I am too. Oh, it's not my interview. You know what, there's one um, mom and daughter. I once interviewed um, a driver who's a mom and her daughter also drives. And the husband of the mom is a hairdresser. Uh, husband of the mom. Boy, they've got they're everything. Just, they're, they're, Everything's they're, very progressive. They're very there. subversive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That was the intention, I'm sure, when they went into cab driving. How can we be politically as a person? That had nothing to do with getting money quickly. How can we push some buttons here (laughs) and make culture go forward? That's probably what they were thinking. The dad was a bit of a, he drank a lot, too. I found a lot, it was a long cab ride. Well, that's great. Now, you host this great show, Employee of the Thank Month. You. It's wonderful. It's a dynamite show. Thank you. And you, where does that happen? You do live shows over, right? I do live. Um, so every month I do it live. And when, this Wednesday, it'll be at UCB in Chelsea. Yeah. Um, and it should be super fun. That's and, great. And then I'll be at Joe's Pub starting January 8th. That's at a That's great true. venue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I should come. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Now, uh, and you, and so many of your uh, efforts of, of late have been sort of workplace focused, and really you're becoming kind of the studs turtle of our <laughs> time, aren't you? Yeah, not as sexy, but yes. <laughs> oh, well. He was an animal. <laughs> he was. In the bed. No, for sure. He could also eat a sandwich. But the, uh, <laughs> you know, it just depends on what you find erotic. He was so That's interesting. I think he Very was. Very interesting. That's erotic. Absolutely. And uh, but, uh, what is the show, though? So for people that don't know, there might oh, be three okay. people that don't know what the show is. I like to say a very exclusive uh, listenership. That's what you can say here. This is a very exclusive show. Very. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My show is God also God bless them, everyone. Smart um, as a look. It's a show about it's a show about work because I couldn't get a job and I I wanted to like write for like a shitty show and I could never get hired and I'd be like you know why can't I get and like. Even for like the weather channel, like something where you're like, but I can write this, like I can write this poorly, okay. or you know, and um, I couldn't get a job. I mean, it I really, will snow. 
can do that. Like, I can write that sentence. I can write it it in Spanish. Oh, my God. Totally. Do you speak Spanish? I do, but I just meant to write it in the snow. You can Google Translate. Um, (laughs) But so so I started this because I wanted to find out, like, how do people, not just, like, break in, but how do they reinvent themselves and... So I served as Stephen Wright was my first interview. You know him, the comedian? Sure, yeah. And then I How did you get that interview? What, do you have like a family friend for the first interview? <laughs> I want to know that. I'm <laughs> talking to your back. Sorry. Someone from the audience. He's, Sorry. Right, he's right behind you. He's right behind you. I was like, wow, I, Steve, really I, I was just so you. moved by that first thing. I was thinking, how did you? Sorry. Steve-O. So I love that. I just, I thought, I don't drink a lot normally, and tonight I had a glass of wine. And so I was like, oh, oh my God. God. Uh, so it wasn't Stephen Wright then? Thank it you. was that Stephen Wright. But uh, when you were talking, it sounded sure. like the voice of God. And I feel like yeah. I'm like 14. People have said it sometimes. <laughs> my first, you know, it's as if I'm on mushrooms, but I just had Malbec. Um, <laughs> how did I? Okay, Stephen, I, I showed him my puppet show, and he liked my puppet show. <laughs> I'm serious. I have a puppet Obviously. show. Obviously, yeah, that's a I, natural I, first step. I have a puppet show where uh, my puppet uh, interviews other puppets stuck at home. It's a talk show. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Because there's a, there's a huge dearth. There's you know there's there yeah, yeah, yeah. to entertain them, and they're at home all day. Did you leave them in the dust? Yeah. Sorry, I'm Steve-o. Steve-o. <laughs> Steve-o, I know you, you're sad yeah, that you're saying more like afterwards okay. because there's just a lot. So, <laughs> like my puppet, yeah. Petunia Vanderdorp, but she's had, she needs help now because I went, so I have this puppet show and a friend who worked for Jim Henson's company, like me, while well, she was working, but then she left the job, she wanted to make money. So anyway, so then I went on a puppet lesson. I went to a real puppeteer, it was like, yeah. he was an Avenue Q, Q, sorry, not Q, Q, it was a Q. No, anyways, he was an Avenue Q and I got into this <laughs> workshop and he, Put my little puppet, Petunia Vandertorp, he put his hand in it and he busted through her mouth. Oh my god! And he goes, Guess you gotta get a new one. Wow. Like, like, they're, like he's like a professional tennis player, so they ruin a rack. They're like, yeah, Oh, guess you gotta get And I'm like, That's, that's you know, that's not everyone life. can just go get another puppet, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did they get you one? Did no, you one? so she's in the closet. So oh, sad. She's so just, that's the, how long were you doing that? Sad story, Can we back up a little yes. bit though, yeah. because we we <laughs> just we put a lot of information out there. <laughs> Steve-O jumped the gun a little bit on some questions <laughs> I that I had, but now, uh, okay. So you, but but <laughs> when did you start with the puppets? In, in your life, were you always drawn to puppets? Were you drawing on no, a rich I, history okay, of actually, Jewish puppetry? Well, that's a good, so my first, no, the answer is no, but kind of, okay, so for Christmas when I was five, we're Jew, we're 100% Jewish, and we had amazing Christmases. They were like, I feel bad for Christian people mm-hmm. because Wait, ours were so big. We had what such, you mean? You were Jewish, Jewish though. though. Yeah, we shouldn't have been having it, and it was like so extreme that I'm embarrassed for people who oh, kind of get like, such good like, Christmases. Like uh, taboo I'm sex. I'm you, though. <laughs> Well, I banned it later. Don't Wait, worry. But you, it's, it's you're sad. Jewish, but you're having a Christmas. It's not my fault. I mean, I was four years old. I can't put a lot of leverage in the you're situation. Right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> but it, I did. We ha- I rang the handbells at chapel. Wow. Did caroling. Gee, God. That's that's and and I, got, I got a puppet. Okay, guys. All right. Let's <laughs> I got a puppet, Stanley, that and when I was five. Yeah. And and then we got married, and he was a raccoon, and I became <laughs> the president of Raccoon's World, and, and I was the first female and first human president, and I had to step down eventually because it was human, but Stanley died in a fire. He did die in a fire like three weeks later we went on vacation to Utah. And oh my, and you said it. So, 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 so don't be too too upset with me about Christmas because Christmas died in a fire. And Christmas Ooh. ended. But did he actually die in a fire? Did he the did. puppet die? He did. So that was my first. Who set the fire? I think someone screwed up with the laundry or something. I don't know. Wow. Oh my God. Now you've experienced a lot of tragedy. A lot of tragedy. <laughs> so that so and then I, you know my brother had a fox puppet and they got him another fox puppet but I didn't get another puppet. And okay, and so uh, did you? But were you performing that anywhere? You no, just no, you're no. at home with no, your with your home. raccoon husband. Just at home. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, but you had a gift of entertaining early on. Is the point? Yeah, you can look at 
is mental illness, and you can look at it as entertainment. It just depends. Which I prefer which entertainment. Way you look at it. <laughs> as always. <laughs> and so, uh, and you had a little puppet show. You still do that, uh, where you, she's so wait, she's waiting. In the, in I the, waited till my late thirties, really, to, to get really back into set it, it off. Yeah. To really draw on all your great experiences. So Petunia, yeah, she, she, um, yeah, but she needs to get cosmetic surgery. She yeah, she needs to get. It. But you have some connection with the Henson program, so they can fix it or no? You, you've got to do that. She left that job. I got to get a new connection. There. That's that's terrible. So the so then you 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 were what were you doing when you got out of work? Puppetry. No, no one no one gets out of work. No, that's like that's out of work. This <laughs> <laughs> is a way of saying I'm out of work. So you had some bank <laughs> job that you got out of that you yes. then went. Into, I dropped out of my doctorate to do to do this. Right, not right now. Well, not, not this, this minute. I didn't <laughs> do that. I did want to register. I urge you to reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then you get started with the podcast, as so many of us do, who are up against a wall and have no other skills. And you, you get that going. And you, 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 and one of the things you're known for, of course, is going to great lengths to get your your guests. I mean, I send an email, and if I don't hear back from somebody, I spent time in L.A. I know they mean no. So fine, I let it drop. But you, you, you'll send them a puppet, or you'll go chase them down on a no, ferry. No, no, I just send them an email with a link to my show. Okay, but then you, but with Stephen Wright, you went and like, well, you, you chased him down, right? No, no, no. He'd seen my comedy too, because oh, I used okay. to do stand up. Okay. Mm. So they always so focus outlandish. on like the lengths I go to, but it's really the inner, like you, while well, I yes. aspire to be like you in terms of like interviewing. Many do, yeah. Interviewing. I mean, that's what I enjoy is interviewing people like yourselves. Right. I aspire to be like you and, and interview folks. Well, you do. Yeah, and you've had, of course, you've had not just anybody that has jobs. You have famous people that have famous jobs. And you've had some of my old flames on there. Joy yeah, Behar. Rachel Maddow was an old Rachel flame. Maddow, Rachel Maddow. Oh, Rachel really? Maddow. And uh, oh uh, so that you just had the vampire uh, guy from Sound of Music. Uh, Stephen Moyer. He's an old flame of yours, too. Old flame of mine. Well, you watch the show. Uh, <laughs> that's, did you watch that Sound of Music live? I did not see it. I did not well, see it. But it worth, sounds like you have a lot of feelings. Worth a, it. worth a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrid. You should check it out. But you might feel, you feel, you met the guy, so you might have different feelings. You might think, oh, you might root for him. You know what? Sometimes I don't watch things if I think I'm going to have a negative feeling about That's right. That's what I you have to like. do. Yeah. What's the greatest thing that you've learned as an interviewer, as a host, host to host? That's an excellent question. One of the greatest things I've learned is to compliment the person who's uh, asking me a question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I've learned that there's no pause too long. <laughs> and, to, and to laugh. I watch a documentary on Carson. He laughs with the people. That's a big deal. Honestly, I feel like yeah, those are the best. When you're enjoying yourself genuinely, it's the best. It's the it's painful when you're not. Do you know what I just said? I just said, like, when it's sunny out, it's really nice out. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> but, yeah, it's super fun. I love it. So if you had an ideal scenario where, let's say, Comedy Central or even IFC or one of these things came to you and said, Katie, we're going to give you a show, what would the show be? I imagine it's probably going to be set in a diner. The staff will be puppets, and people will come in with different jobs, and you'll say, hey there, fellow, what's your gig? And then you talk to whoever it is, Alec Baldwin or something. How are you not my agent? I mean, you would, you would, Let's make it happen. would be a great guest. We'll, we'll go right to MSNBC and see if they'll take him back. Um, no, I, I think that my, I don't know, I like interviewing serious people, and like it's, it's okay if it's funny. I'm glad that it's often funny, but yeah. I like that when that comes out of real life. I think the humor. I mean, I think like you know, I'm not happy that Stanley died in the fire or anything like that. But there's something slightly comical about someone just being <laughs> aware that they have to take over the presidency of a raccoon's world because of this fire. You know, like I think that that's yeah. more. Amusing. And we're not talking about flat Stanley. This is a raccoon Stanley. Yeah, that's different. And that, that's different. But that was good. That was a good tip for single people to know where to go. Go on us. If you want to find flat cardboard men, yeah, watching the, watching the floating dissolve. around with chlamydia. Yeah. I was a little envious. I was like, even though I have more sex than I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
stick a boat down that thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, what kind of boat did you take down <laughs> <laughs> now it's getting spicy. Uh, <laughs> but what would it be? What do you want to do with it? I would love to have a, uh, my show. I mean, I love doing the podcast. I would love it to be on radio, and I would love. Um, I have a face for podcasting, but I think I can expand to radio. And um, I would also love to tell you. I appreciate that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think you do well on the television, too. Thank you. I don't mind looking at you. (laughs) I won't be uncomfortable for anyone else. (laughs) You got a nice back. You got to be careful. It's a nice nice back. I just want you to know. What's that? That didn't see that. That creepy voice from behind didn't help what I was doing. I mean, you can't see why I might retreat into a world of puppetry. No, the world is is tough. I once tried to do puppetry on the radio, though. It didn't didn't go so well. It wasn't. It was a religious theme kind of a thing. uh, Which religion? That may have been the issue. Uh, It was Presbyterian. So. They're so nice, though. They're so nice. So nice. They really mean well. They have the best intentions. <laughs> they really you know, do. even better is an offshoot of Presbyterian is Unitarian Universalists. Yep. They love everybody. And they also have the unitards that they wear. <laughs> <laughs> just, so, just makes the Sunday go quicker. <laughs> <laughs> But not from American Apparel. I don't. I won't shop there. No. Why is that? You don't like the guy with the mustache? Disgusting. He is a little gross. A little gross. A lot of gross. Vertically integrated. I feel like he's had like more sexual harassment suits against him than certain countries. Like I just feel like he personally. Yep. But if you want some briefs that are too tight, (laughs) that's where to go. That's the way to go. I can't wear things like that. It's like Urban Outfitters. I can't go in those stores you're, anymore. You're so, you're so well endowed, you can't even go that, in those That stores. is what I was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on it. <laughs> Not just the amount of turkey chili I've eaten recently. But that's, uh, either way, I can't go in the store. <laughs> So, and it feels good to also be a 50 funniest person. <laughs> to be one Uh-oh, of the 50 Bur- funniest people. You know what? In so, Berkeley. okay, so when I started comedy, I, I would win all these unwittingly amusing titles like Funniest New York Resident. And that was the first one I won on the first night. And so to 10 years later, be 50, you know, one of 50 funny people in Brooklyn. So I think I'm like hoping for like one of 5,000 in Paramus, New Jersey. <laughs> like years from now, then I'll know my career is going in the right direction. Well, yeah, I, think it, I think it is clearly being on this program. So, okay, this, this is the right, yeah. <laughs> this is Once you identify your career by an exit number. <laughs> well, you have to figure out which stations to get off at. You know, Molly Pitcher is a good one. That is a good one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I do like that one. Yeah, good for us. Nice, nice selection of foods there. Yeah. Have they all changed over to the hand dryer? You know, that is an excellent question. But that would be an excellent question for someone who works in the hand dryer. <laughs> business and I confess well, that maybe, as a non-famous listen, podcaster I, I don't maybe I don't you and I can do a road trip and we'll go look at them that sounds like a terrifying idea <laughs> but I'm open bring a to puppet it. no bring a puppet <laughs> <laughs> it won't be weird you and I will go to restrooms along the turnpike and we'll bring a puppet <laughs> this will be fine this is good this is good this is the best idea I had yet <laughs> I'm just about this. I spent a lot of money on a web series. This is where we should be doing. This is it. This is where the action is. Man, well, if you ever need somebody to, you know. Stick your hand up something. Yeah. something yeah. I was waiting for the job. Yeah. It's never been done before. Uh, no. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but not, I didn't mean that. I just mean really, genuinely, if you need somebody to do puppetry, I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. I'd be thrilled to do it. <laughs> Katie, do you have any shows coming up? You know <laughs> um, You're interviewing Lewis Black, is that right? Yes, I am. So this Wednesday at UCB in Chelsea. Yeah. Um, I have on Piper Kerman, whose memoir is Orange is the New Black. Sure, I've oh, seen it. Oh, that's a good show. That's and Maria Dizia, who's yeah, on the show. That's a and good show. 
John Ronson, who did <laughs> Men Who Stare at Goats and uh, Psychopath Test, and then Kathleen Hanna. Uh, sure. Do uh, you yeah. know her? Yeah, yeah. they're good. Um, and then uh, in January, they'll Julie have Julie Ruin. What is yeah, it? That's yeah. excellent. Uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Do you have any women you have just really made happy because you know about the riot girl movement and third wave feminism? And I, I, believe me. Really I know how, how many women I've made happy. Probably three. A lifetime? A lifetime three. <laughs> Truly happy. <laughs> Quality versus quantity. And when's the when's the Lewis Black? At uh, January eighth, and that's going to be at Joe's Pub. That's great. Well, and that's going to be the new home of what you're yeah. doing. That's great. That's terrific. Thank you. I'm so pr proud of you. I don't know if I'm I'm happy for you and proud of you. And uh, uh, I think you're doing uh, great work. And I just wish you all the, all the success. Thank you. And have a wonderful New Year. You have some New Year's plans? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You guys doing anything? Oh, I think they're doing uh, the yeah. audience. Do you guys have New Year's yeah. plans? No, the audience. Jeez, let's not open it up to them. No. <laughs> no. No, you don't have New Year's plans. No. no. Well, no. I perform at Sloan Kettering most New Year's. You're welcome to come. I have New Year's plans. So. Yeah, we, we have like a crazy <laughs> much thing. Like Only shit. terminally ill with cancer, but have fun doing whatever you're doing. We all have our members. That's a wonder. That's a wonderful thing to do. We, we appreciate that. And, uh, you know, good luck with everything. You two, too. All right. Uh, Katie Lazarus, everybody. How about a hand? Uh,